HESCO has been, for more than 25 years, has basically been synonymous with protecting people and assets. Um, in all the major conflict zones around the world, we've been uh, protecting both uh, soldiers, uh, civilians and uh, uh, key assets for uh, the military, primarily. Um, in recent years, we've been doing quite a lot in, in oil and gas and other market sectors. From a, a, a product was originally um, designed really to work on environmental, but it was um, used and spotted by the military back in um, just before the Bosnian conflict and has been used for a number of years for that protection of military forces, etc. Um, we put basically things between people and harm's way and um, we've been doing that for a very long time. We bought a new company um, within the last 18 months which um, does body armour in the U US, it does hard plates. Again, it's the same principle of putting something between people and harm's way. So we're looking at expanding our, our portfolio of um, products away from just the military side of things. So we brought some new security fencing in which uses some of our old technology but is more of a high security type fence as well. So we're constantly looking at ways to innovate and expand what we do as a business. My name is Bobby Hamilton. I'm the regional sales manager for UK and Europe. Um, what we really want to demonstrate and what I'd love to talk about today is the evolution of protection, which is what we believe is synonymous with the Hesco Bastion. And it really started in terms of protection of this form, moving from what was really quite an outdated sandbag into the Hesco basket that's known today, back in Gulf War I. And that was quite small in numbers, but even through the 90s, even though expeditionary warfare wasn't quite what we imagine today, we saw a real involvement in how we set up perimeters, how the soldier and the warfighter protects himself from incoming fire. So we moved from the very um, basic HESCO basket to then bringing it into the modern concept of the forward operating base. And this is purely in one sector and that's the military field, but everything from entry control points to elevated watchtowers, then moving into medical facilities and accommodation bunkers. And then finally, we got to the final deviation from the deployment into RAID, rapid in-theater deployment, which gets us to a 2.2 meter high wall, which you'll see in the perimeter. And we can deploy that 333 meters or a thousand feet in under a minute. And I think the record is 42 seconds. I think one of our strengths as a business and compared to some of the competitors who have similar type products, is that we have a lot of blast and ballistic experience within our team, so we can give a lot of consultancy advice, we give a lot of support in putting the, the units up in difficult terrains and difficult areas, and we do a lot of training around how you put our products into um, and use our products, etc. And uh, I think our other key thing is, is as a business, we focus just on protecting people and assets and therefore we are totally geared to meeting very short-term demands and we're very capable of increasing our production quite significantly in order to meet short-term requirements, which I think most of our competitors would have difficulty to because they don't focus on purely this sector as we do.